Well, some of President Trump's supporters are pushing back against what they see as an unfair justice system, threatening a boycott that could have a major impact on the country's largest city. Some truck drivers say they're planning on refusing shipments to and from New York City in protest of that $355 million verdict against the former president in his business fraud trial. Dre Clark is live in Manhattan with the latest. Dre, what could this boycott do to prices, not just in New York, but for all of us across the country? Well, certainly if truck drivers were to boycott New York City, the impact has the potential to be very damaging and very quickly. We're talking about supermarkets, big box stores, and other businesses that rely heavily on trucking. They would feel the pinch, and so would their customers. About 90% of communities here in New York City rely heavily on trucking to move their goods. This morning, we're on the Jersey side of the George Washington Bridge, and every day you can see hundreds, if not thousands, of trucks crossing the bridge from Jersey into the city. Meanwhile, one man is now telling truck drivers not to come to New York City after former President Trump was hit with that massive multi-million dollar fine last week. Take a listen. I've been on the radio talking, talking to drivers for about the last hour, hour 15 minutes. And uh, I'm talking to at least 10 drivers going the other way. I'm heading down from South Wisconsin. And uh, they're going to start refusing loads in New York City starting on Monday. Yeah, the man calls himself Chicago Ray, and as of last night, his post on X, formerly Twitter, had garnered more than 6 million views and 60,000 likes. Former President Trump also caught wind of what Chicago Ray is doing and reposted Ray's video on his platform, Truth Social. But it's hard to ascertain exactly how many drivers are answering his call and what kind of impact it may have. It's not an organized effort, and the drivers expressing support for Chicago Ray, they're scattered all across the country. We did reach out to the Teamsters Union, the union representing many truck drivers, but did not get a response. We also contacted and tried to call at least the National Supermarket Association, which is based here in New York City, but did not get a response. Meanwhile, a Chicago race says he and other truckers are irate over Judge Arthur N. Gorin's uh, fining former President Trump more than $355 million for fraud. Ray, like the former president, believes it's a form of election interference. Meanwhile, while we talked to one driver who says she's joining the movement to boycott New York City, and she says if things go as planned, the city could pay a big price. It could shut New York City down. Um, and, you know, I don't want to hurt the people of New York. That's not what I'm trying to do. But my part in it, if, if New York just loses 10 percent, just 10 percent of the trucks that go in there, their prices are going to skyrocket on everything from milk to eggs to any type of goods that the consumer needs. And when that happens, it's going to cost everybody more money. Yeah, but not every truck driver is getting behind Chicago Ray's efforts. Many uh, drivers responded saying that they would not support the former president uh, because he was accused and now he's been found liable for causing fraud. Uh, they say also the New York City market is just too big to ignore. Marky. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.